Schenectady. Oh, you want to battle Zep, son? I'm glad as heck. Hit you with the boom pow like I'm Adam West. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Blood Sausage. And today I am doing my long-awaited unboxing of a return that I submitted to CGC as a mechanical error. Uh, the story behind this book is that I sent it in for the McFarlane Signature Series uh, signing, and there was two issues with it. Uh, one, it came back with a crease that wasn't originally there, and the label didn't uh, notate that it was a Mark Jewelers uh, variant, which it was. <clears throat> so uh, it came back a 7.5 with the incorrect uh, label notations. So I submitted it as a mechanical error. Um, I did get it back a couple of weeks ago, and I noticed that they fixed the label, but they did not press it, press out the the error that I proved wasn't there initially with pictures of the book prior to submitting it. And uh, so when I spoke to somebody, they understood my frustration with the situation, and they were very, very helpful. They said. They uh, had me submit it with some very specific instructions for a repress and regrade, and uh, and they actually threw me a, a credit towards uh, uh, CGC grading fees, which I plan to use on my next submission because um, they did uh, my membership did auto renew, so I do have some. Uh, CGC credit towards the next set of books I said send in. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but the last time my book, oh, well, this didn't go kind of as expected. This is a different CGC submission, so I guess my mechanical error did not come back but on a side note I've been waiting for these bad boys for a minute now the story behind these is different these were from the Robert Pattinson signing I got the movie variant with uh him and Catwoman, Zoe Kravitz on the cover. Really nice book. Uh, nine six. Um, I did have C C S pressing added to this submission, um, but I think it's a great book, a uh, great collectible. I really love Pattinson's version of the Batman, and uh, so did my son. It's actually his favorite movie, and this is kind of a. Uh, I got it uh, for him to uh, enjoy this. Uh, when it's his turn to uh, own these books. And the other book that I submitted to the Robert Pattinson signing was the Long Halloween um, movie theater uh, variant, right? So this actually did hit the 9.8. I'm really happy about that, uh, that at least one of them hit the 9.8. I also had CCS pressing for this. I got the yellow label. Now the prices for the signatures were up there. It was like three to four hundred bucks, and uh, never ever paid that much for a signature. But I do understand that um, actors do uh, command a higher price, and the reason I I bit down and submitted two books instead of the one is that. The way this signing was advertised was that getting Pattinson to do this signing was like pulling teeth. And uh, it was also advertised as most likely to never happen again, right? They, they don't expect to be able to get him to do a signing again. And uh, what happened is my books were signed. I sent them in very early. I sent them in the same day I sent in the McFarland books, which was towards the end of the deadline. And uh, 
the Pattinson signing wasn't for several weeks after that, but I, you know, I had, I packaged them, put them together and I, you know, I, I sent them away. And, uh, so I got, they got there early. So after several conversations with CGC, because I seen that my books arrived, they were in CCS's, uh, custody. Um, they, uh, they were, then they said it was signed. So it was like different, my status updates kept changing. And then like, I would call and somebody said, oh yeah, they're signed. And then I'm like, okay, great. Could I have it? They're like, no, they are, he, he didn't complete the signing all in one session and that he's got to come back. And that when he comes back, that they'll complete the signing and they'll do it all in one shot. So this went on back and forth for, you know, a couple of months. Um, and I, uh, I expected to get my mechanical error back uh, before this because I, I kind of like put this in the back of my mind and forgot about it because uh, it just, you know, it's kind of those like, you know, just set it and forget it type of deals because of, you know, you start counting the days and look every couple of days at the CGC uh, status updates, you'll just drive yourself insane. So I just kind of forgot about it. Uh, when I did get the package, I did feel like it had a, some weight to it. So, uh, I thought it could be that, but like I said, I wasn't expecting these, but very pleasant, uh, surprise, very happy to have these. I can't wait to share with my son. Um, he's, like I said, he, uh, he loved this rendition of Batman and so did I, you know, I think a lot of people are, you know, just, uh, nostalgic for Keaton and, uh. Or the you know the other Batman's, or they don't accept that you know because of Pattinson's prior you know movies or, or roles that he played that he couldn't be a good Batman. But uh, if you go back and apply that to you know other actors, that's that's kind of an unfair um, way of of uh, you know thinking about them, you know as far as their craft. Uh, so when I, I when he when I heard he was Batman, I was you know kept an open mind to it, you know. Um, he did put on some muscle for it, so you know he respected the role in that sense. And I think he did great. I loved the version of Batman that he did, and I loved the you know the something in the way. So it's, it's funny. I I really didn't even know that these books were gonna come. The something in the way soundtrack throughout the whole video. As you can see, I'm a huge Nirvana fan. Um, I have their box set here, unopened. I think this is really cool. I think it's a really cool thing. Uh, Nirvana was a, a very big uh, part of my high school years. Uh, got me through rough times. Uh, these are just some other pickups I was able to grab at uh, LCS that I think are solid books. Uh, this one was five bucks. It's the first appearance of Blink. Um, she's a really cool character. She was in, uh, one of the Fox X-Men movies, but, uh, uh, according to Mickey, uh, Mikey Sutton, she's supposed to make an appearance. Um, she's a cool X-Men, so wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised to see her back again. Uh, they do have newsstands version of this, which I would recommend getting those. I think I have like two copies of that somewhere in, uh, my long boxes or whatever. Um, and another book that's kind of, uh blowing up right now um is the uh first cover appearance of mr sinister it's also his second appearance this is x-men 239 there's also new stand versions of this one this is a really cool mr sinister cover um i think this is a burn cover oh no silvestri the mark silvestri cover um you got havoc on the cover there i'm a really big fan of havoc really like him really underrated character underused character um i see I see a lot of potential with him. Um, another cool uh, thing about this book that I never see uh, talked about is that uh, there's a cameo of Nathan Summers, a.k.a. Uh, Cable, as a baby in here. Now, it's not his first appearance as uh, a baby in a, in a book. Uh, there's an earlier X-Men issue with him in it, but um, it's still... Uh, early early appearance of cable which i think is pretty cool um about this book and uh that's it uh you just wanted to share some recent pickups i picked this up for eight bucks the price is still on there and uh you know i think uh, i've seen videos of it uh, saying it's going for 30 bucks um you know 
I just really believe in like, uh, you know, collecting with uh, kind of with a purpose or, or, or with some sense, you know what I mean? Um, not chasing down the, the FOMA book of the week, um, collecting quality comics or characters that you like or covers that you like. And you can't go wrong, you know what I'm saying? If, uh, you know, this book will drop, you know, eventually. And when it drops, I'll, I'll be fine with it, you know. It'd be nice to have it in 9.8 from what I've uh, seen. There's not too many of these in 9.8. Um, this book, I've, I'm sure they're out there because this is like a 2000-something book. But uh, there's, all my copies have defects. You know, they are uh, definitely no 9.8 candidates in this. Uh, not even 9.6, but uh, but that might be a good one to, to chase down in the 9.8. But uh, anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Schenectady, oh, you want to battle Zep, son, I'm glad as heck. Hit you with the boom pow like I'm Adam West.